Okay, now we're going to start working um, on module 6, which covers chapter 6, which is all about functions. Functions are essentially to break down your program into modules. So modular programming is what we're looking at. There are different ways to write our functions. So in C++, uh, we're going to see how to write our functions and what are parameters and what are return values. So if you take a look at this program here, this is a demonstration of how to calculate um, pay based on the hours and the rate that's given, which is, which is fine. You can write that as a single program. You get the hours and the rate from the user, and you calculate um, the pay based on if there's an overtime, and if there's a certain number of hours that it exceeds, then there's a certain overtime rate. So, so we have our constants. Notice we have two constants. One is the base hours 40, and the other is our overtime rate if it exceeds 40 hours. Now, here's where we're going to use the function. So what part of this program are we going to break down and put in our function? So before you start writing functions, it's very important to sit down and think about how you are going to break down your program. In this case, notice my function is called calculate pay. So its job is to get two parameters, which is the hours and the rate, calculate the pay, and return a double. So if you notice, this is my function prototype, which is a declaration of the function. And if you just look at that one statement, it gives you a lot of information about what the function is supposed to do. Supposed to do. Calculate pay is just the name of the function. So name your functions appropriately so it makes sense. It takes two parameters, double hours, comma, double rate. So you can have any number of parameters. The parameters can be any different data type. So we have two doubles that it takes. And this is the return value. It returns a double. So then what we do with the return value is up to us. So let's take a look at main. Main has three variables declared, hourly rate, we initialize them to zero, work, hours worked, and gross pay. These are all variables that we will need here. We also have our manipulators to display to two decimal places. Then we ask the user, so here is my user input, that's going to get some information from the user. This says, what is your hourly rate? We read that into hourly rate. And it says, how many hours did you work this week? We read that into hours worked. And the gross pay variable is used to calculate um, the gross pay. So we have a function to calculate the gross pay. And remember, it is returning a value, double. And if we don't put it somewhere when we call our function, we are going to lose that value. So the value that it gets returned gets assigned, notice our assignment statement, to this variable that we have declared here, which is a double. So we call the function. The function does its job. We'll take a look at it in a minute and see what it does. We pass these two variables that we said we are going to pass to it. Notice that's why we have our declaration up here, the prototype that says we're going to pass two double variables. So these must have a one-to-one -one relationship with your declaration. If you said you're going to pass two doubles and you pass an int and a double, it's going to complain. It's not going to like it. So we pass two variables, two parameters to the function. It does something. It returns a value, and that gets put in gross pay. And then we have our output statement that says what the gross pay is. And then we quit. So let's take a look at our function down here. It says um, calculation. The gross pay is hours work times hourly rate, but overtime is paid for hours in excess of base hours at the rate of overtime rate. So if we come down here, we have our function. Notice the function heading. This is called the function heading, the statement here, which looks exactly like our prototype. But notice there is no semicolon at the end of it. If you go up and notice, our prototype is essentially a statement, just like a declaration that has a semicolon at the end of it. What says this is our function? Notice after the function definition or the function heading, we have our body of the function enclosed in curly brackets. That says this is actually my function definition. So function definition has a heading followed by the curly brackets within which we have the body of the function. So the body of the function 
here has two local variables because we need to calculate some things. We need local variables to store them in. We have double base pay. I will declare it, initialize it to zero. Overtime pay equals zero. We calculate these two. So if hours is less than or equal to base hours, then base pay is nothing but hours times rate. And the overtime pay is zero because that's what it says up there. And then we have an else statement that says, else which means the only cases um, if hours greater than 40 so this is hours less than or equal to base hours so uh, if hours is less than or equal to 40 then the base pay is hours times rate and no overtime pay else which means if it is over 40 then the base pay is um, base hours which is 40 times the rate and then the overtime pay is the difference of the hours, hours minus base hours, the rest of the hours times the overtime rate. So return base pay plus overtime pay. Now if it is less than or equal to 40, then the overtime pay is zero. So it's simply going to return base pay plus zero, which would be the same as base pay. Or if it is greater, then it's going to return the sum of these two, which will give the overtime rate. Okay, so then we come back here and that is what gets written. So the minute it hits this statement, it says, oh, there is a function that I need to call. So it jumps to this function with the parameters. The parameters come in, get copied into hours and rate. The parameters that we pass up here, hours worked gets copied into hours. Hourly rate here gets copied into rate. So when we enter, we already have values for these two. And we use those values in these statements. So these variables are just local variables, temporary variables that we use within the function. And of course, when we return this statement, these the sum of this will get copied into this gross pay here. And those two variables go out of scope. And we are back in main. And then we print gross pay. So that is how functions work. So please write. Practice writing functions. It's very important for the rest of this class and for um, more uh, computer science classes. So please practice writing functions. Now we will also see in the next video, we will see one more program which has a few more functions and is a little more complicated. So take a look at that as well.